So I got a, I got a ton of questions for you, uh, and I like throwing a curveball at the beginning. Go. You have done a ton of cool shit in your career. If someone has never seen anything you've done before, what is the first thing you'd like them watching and why? Ah, you were messing around with the curveball. Uh, okay, the what would I want them to watch? I mean, I'm supremely proud of everything I've done, but um, they should watch maybe Charles Minor in The Office, okay? Because uh, it's comedy, uh, it's, it's very funny, and uh, I'm pretty proud of it. Jumping into why I get to talk to you, um, what are you, I know this is a little generic, but what are you actually excited for audiences to see in the Knuckle series? Uh, how funny it is, how it does not, um, you know, shy away from being super detailed and just as good in terms of quality and depth and writing and performance as the movie series. Um, I think that if you wanted to know a little bit more about Knuckles, you get to know a whole lot more about him. So that's what I like about it. It is a real universe dive. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, the Frank, the Sonic franchise grows and here comes Knuckles. You get to know a bit, a lot more. So one of the things is, and you know this, oftentimes people talk about sequels and prequels and all this stuff with a franchise or with a movie, and it never happens. What yeah. do you think it is about Sonic that they're, they're making three of them now? The third one's being made. You're doing the Knuckles spinoff. Yeah. What is it about these characters in this and that has resonated with so many people? Um, I, I think it came at a point where, you know, there might've been a bit of superhero fatigue and, uh, along came a very friendly, furry little speedball that runs around with his mates and it was fun and really well done. Um, I, I think it feels very familiar. It's Sonic, you know, we love Sonic and it's, and, and I think that people just want more from it. You know, uh, they get attached to something. They want to peel the onion back, you know, they want to see more and see, de see derivatives of. So I think um, we just hit a, a specific time. How much fun do you have going? You've done a lot of, you've done voiceover work. How much fun is Knuckles versus the other characters you've played? Um, it's actually really a lot of fun because he's just so dry. He doesn't get it. He's like fish out of water. So when I'm in the the booth, I have a lot of fun with just improvising. And then I'll improvise a line and then say the line. And usually the, between the combination, we get the line in the show. Um, so, you know, Knuckles sometimes says things a bit backwards, like, ah, oh, this mic I love, you know, instead of saying I love this mic. And so I love having fun with that and making the uh, sound recordist laugh, and then we'll just go back and do it again. I have a good time doing that. How much do you look forward to or dread recording efforts? Ooh, I always keep efforts to the end because otherwise I just get lightheaded and I'm tired, especially when it's like, Knuckles is always fighting, you know what I'm saying? So it's always like, and you just, <laughs> it's not good for you to do it at the end. That's a great question, by the way. Yeah. The, listen, I, I, what's funny is I've spoken to a lot of people that have done voiceover work. And the, the, when I first started talking to people about voiceover, I didn't really understand that it's legit acting. Yeah. I just thought it was like you go into the booth, you say some lines, and now I'm like, oh, no, it's a full oh, – no. you walk out of there exhausted. Yeah, it's like a radio play. You're like ah, doing the whole thing. No, So it's six episodes. Did you actually record all six like on the same day? Um, and how or how much is it like with multiple recording sessions? No, we 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 um, six episodes in the same day. No way, I'd be toast. Um, we spread it out. Um, we come do episode two to three, and then I mean one to three, do it, mock it out, and then they go ahead and work on the animation and stuff, and then come back. I'll do you know three to six. But not all in one day. We sort of spread it out. I, honestly, after four hours of a voiceover session, I am no good. There's like gobbledygook coming out of my mouth at that point. I, I have learned this from other uh, uh, actors. Um, so I know this takes place between Sonic 2 and 3. I know Sonic 3 is, you know, shot slash coming out not so far away. What can you tease about Sonic 3? Um, I can tease nothing. 
No, seriously, I, 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 um, I don't even know what's going to happen in it. No, I'm joking. Uh, I can tell you that it's, it's super exciting. I can tell you that um, it, it really does get deeper into the universe of Sonic. I think three is probably the one that for all the real diehard Sonic fans, they're going to get all of their um, those Easter eggs in it. I think I can't emphasize how much I love Jim Carrey yeah. and how great he is as Robotnik uh, in the movies. He's incredible, man. What a performance. It's so, so great to work against, even though I'm never there with him, but I get to hear his voice. Boom. I do have a few other things to ask you about. As you know, I am a huge fan of you as Luther. And I know that the movie did very well on Netflix. Uh, what are the chances of another one? Uh, the chances are good. The chances are very good, actually. Um, I don't want to make any uh, exclusive announcements, but it's looking good for old Johnny Boy. Do you Are you guys working on a script, maybe? Uh, I'm personally not. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll leave that alone. Uh, you got introduced in Extraction 2. Uh, I know they're making another. Uh, has anyone asked you to save any dates this year or next for filming? Um, I know that we um, we have some unfinished business and from Extraction 2. Um, it hasn't been made official yet, but I'm pretty sure it will be. Yeah, I, there's no doubt in my mind there's an Extraction 3 coming. I would place any wager you would like to make, you know? Um, you I, li I like your positivity, so bro. <laughs> Not even a debate. Um, what is head? I want to. I wrote this down. What is Heads of State about? Because I have all I know is it has a kick-ass cast, and I know nothing about it. Heads of State about Heads of State is literally what it is. It's about two heads of state, two heads of their countries that. Um, how can I say? Go on this incredible adventure. Okay, I won't pressure you any further than that. Uh, you just co-directed uh, Above the Below, yeah. which sounds really, really cool. Uh, what can you tease about it and touch on the fact that you co-directed it? Yeah, I'm in it. I'm directing it, co-directing it. Um, it. It is a very different movie from anything I've done before in terms of my direction. Um, I can tell you that it's about three astronauts and their journey back to Earth in their space pod. And it is um, an action thriller survival movie. Um, it's, I'm going to say, man, I, I'm quietly confident. I've just had the most incredible team film it with me, really great actors. And uh, I'm really excited about showing it to the world soon. I am looking forward to seeing it. Uh, we are in the beginning of 2024. What is your schedule looking like this year? Because you are in that rare boat of, getting to pick projects. <laughs> I am in a rare boat and that, that is something that I don't, you know, look at lightly. Um, the truth is I'm still working on Heads of State after I finish um, editing my movie Above the Below and then I'm off to do some more Hijack. Oh yeah, season two. Oh yeah, yeah. When do you actually start filming that? Uh, we look, get into that in June actually, June. Oh, so that's, that's going to take you at least, what, like five, six months? Wow, you're good. You're very good. <laughs> I mean, I, I have been doing this a little while. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going to take us a while, probably to the end of the year. Maybe. Yeah, I know the way this works. But listen, I really <laughs> appreciate you talking to me for Knuckles. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. And I wish you nothing but the best. You're a star, man. Thank you.